All right, in this example, guys, we're going to differentiate sine squared 3x. Now, as always, these kind of problems, we should always rewrite this in a way which makes sense to differentiate. So what I'd firstly do is just always write this way. I'd, I'd write this as, as an open bracket, sine 3x all to power 2. Now, the reason why we do this is because we want to use the chain rule, and that way we can let all of the inside bit be u. So let's do it. Let's say, okay, let u equals sine 3x. Now this means that the y equation is now literally just, remember, because of all of that is u, it's just going to be u to the power of 2. That's it. And now let's differentiate both of these terms. So we're going to have first one, du over dx. To differentiate sine 3x, all it is, you just put the power, you put the term in front, so it'll be 3, and then that becomes a cos 3x. Easy. Now for the second one, you're going to get dy over du. To differentiate that, you just get 2u. And yeah, we're almost done. Now, to get the final result with the chain rule, all you do is literally multiply literally the last two derivatives. So we say, okay, finally, dy over dx is what we want. It's just going to be 3 cos 3x times the 2u. And we know what u is, guys. u is literally just sine 3x. So therefore, our final answer, dy over dx, is going to be, so let's multiply out. We've got 3 times 2 here, which is 6. We've already got the cos 3x, and now we've got also sine 3x. So I'm going to rewrite it this way, sine 3x, cos 3x. And that's it. This is your final answer, guys.